All right, I wanted to restate a challenge that I put out there against Jersey Strong that I'm going to be challenging them next week. Uh, I don't just say things and not follow through. Well, usually I do, but recently I'm trying to create a new streak where I actually go and do what I say I'm going to do. So I am next week going to run laps around a different location, but same corporation, Jersey Strong. And there's a lot of things loaded into it. Maybe they don't deserve all of it and sort of other corporations need to share the blame, but there's a lot of blame to go around with corporations. And so far, mainly a lot of what I've focused on with my activism has been against government agencies, but corporations are just as bad and arguably, arguably worse in a variety of ways. So um, next week, I will share this now that I am going to be running laps around a location, but then I'm going to be offering a challenge to Jersey Strong if I follow through with my part, um, what I would challenge them to do. It's something very proactive on their part. I hope they'd see it that way. Um, it's a challenge for them to give to their constituents as well as themselves um, or their uh, clients, I should say. And then challenging them to change something about themselves. I wouldn't, I wouldn't challenge them to change their name back to Workout World. Uh, that's that's not. It's more, um, it's more to see if they have the courage, audacity, and perseverance to do the right thing um, in a certain regard. Uh, you have to choose your battles. And um, I was thinking because I was, at the time, I was very upset about an article that uh, NorthJersey.com wrote. I was thinking about finding their headquarters. If they have one, they might be a completely an online entity. I don't know. Um, but finding that and running circles around it because I didn't like the uh, article that, I, uh, that came out earlier this week. Um, however, um, I'm kind of over that. I don't even feel that much animosity towards the article anymore. Um, but I still feel a very strong sense that I should do this struggle and this should be another running, running circles around an entity. I'm going to end it there, but I'm going to add on to this video. I'm going to show off my skills. There, there's really none there. Um, as far as adding, what is it, where you combine videos and Windows Movie Maker. So I'm going to see if I can combine that with uh, this video, a uh, little clip of something from a video I made recently that sort of gives the spirit of what I feel like we're struggling against. All right. Mwah, 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 mwah. Bye. I'm just an activist. There's, there's, there's hundreds of thousands of us people who just don't like seeing the sixth mass extinction. We don't like knowing that we're f the planet is fucking fated to die if we don't change our ways. And I said this before and I'll say it again, it's a matter of if, not when. No, there's no time is going to pass that's going to make this problem stop. We have to choose to stop the way we're living in this world. And what I love about the Ramapo so much and what I love about activists like Heather, who also highlight other areas, is that they're, um, sorry, I'm reading again, so I can't, sorry, Heather. Um, thank you. I, um, the world is absolutely crazy. And, and I'd say it's a lot like I might seem radical and you might seem radical, Heather, and others like us might seem radical, but we are radical compared to the radical damage and destructiveness that's going on in the planet that cannot continue. But um, in any other context, in any other time in history, distant from the recent colonial destruction of the earth, the way that I think and the way that Native Americans that are trying to get back to their roots or have found their roots and treating the planet the right way, the sustainable way, the seventh generation way, that is not at all radical. That is the only way that we can really survive on this planet. If you do anything else and start playing this dangerous game like uh, especially Western, the Western world has over the last several centuries, it's going to kill us all. That's why I do this. I don't fucking do this for me. I do it for the future generations. But we're in such an egotistical world and people look for uh, motivations that they think it must be for individual pride. And there are doses of that in me. I haven't gotten rid of that. I haven't made huge attempts to. I'm making this video all about me right now. So what does that say? It, like I'm not, I haven't been able to fully remove myself from what the culture and the times I've inherited. But I'm fucking trying. And this article just got under my skin in a lot of ways. I thought I had thick skin, but this is testing me. 
but I guess what doesn't kill you makes you stranger. So I like that version better.